out of this thing, right? And you'll, and you'll inherit a spiritual body, right? And you'll leave this fleshly body, right? Then the Lord said in the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, and verse 8, that in the day of the Lord's wrath, right, he's going to punish the, the, the princes and the king's children who are clothed in strange apparel, right? So you got to keep your, your garment clean in this thing. You got to flee from sin, right? You got to run the other way, brother. You got you to gotta get on your knees, repent, and ask the Lord for forgiveness. And, and Lord willing, in that day, you'll be found you'll be found clean in the sight of the Lord, and you'll be taken out of this thing. Because huh? he's coming upon those that don't expect him as a thief in the night. Because they're going to be doing in and the most out here, and all of a sudden, boom, they caught red head. You know, so we are expecting him, and if we expect him, we'll be doing the things that please him. So we're waiting on him. We won't be caught by surprise, because we are honoring God by keeping his commandments. That's all, that's all my grandfather said there ever, ever trying to hit me with. So now, it's like, that's what I'm stuck with, like, Acts 10, Romans, uh, Romans 9, uh, sit there, uh, uh, what else you sit there trying to hit me with? But man, he got Galatians, uh, Galatians 3. What? Oh, what? Oh, my God. Most High not dealing with no other nation but the nation of Israel. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. In the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25 and verse 12. Thus said the Lord God, because that Edom have, de have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and I will make it desolate from Teman and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Uh -huh. So, you know, we can just be encouraged that, hey, these Edomites are not going to get away scot-free. Uh -huh. They're going to pay this price. Retribution, tribulation, and anguish is going to come upon all those uh -huh. souls who've done us great atrocities, huh. you know, killed our babies, fed the alligators, hung us on trees, cut us in two, burned us at the stake while they let their little boys and girls come out of school to watch this. These same people here today, those descendants that watch my poor father and mother be put to death for nothing. You know what I'm saying? We want to love our enemies. God said love one another. Even as I loved you and gave my life for you, but we want to sacrifice our life for Edomites, Moabites, Ammonites, Canaanites, but anybody other than our own people. We just want to pick up guns. Me and my son was working the other day over there at Prince Park. Man, I, we heard at least 80 shots. And he, he a marksman himself. He was like, man, that's coming from a couple of blocks away. Man. And how many sirens did you hear? I don't hear one yet. Because they don't care if you sell drugs to your own people. If you kill one another, you're doing our dirty work. We train you well in captivity. Uh -huh. If the slave mouse was Baptist, you Baptist. Uh -huh. Capital, you Capital. Capital. Whatever the slave mouse was, you were. And I used to see old films where the, where the slave mouse was sitting up in there watching you, so we'd be praising the Lord, and we really was praising the Lord. And they knew that. That's why they come up with the 5013C, where if I'm the pastor, I can preach tax free. But if you working in the church, you got to pay your taxes because I'm teaching a false doctrine. That's why I can get six by me and out of jet. I'm Kenneth Copeland, uh, 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 all of these people. Uh, 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 what's the dollar, a crap low dollar, TD Snakes. All these people, man, are filthy rich. It's so much money in, in, in the so-called church. It shouldn't be no poke poke out here. And they think... You know, they teach on a prosperity gospel that you, if you don't have no money or no house, no, you, you can be meek, lonely, and poor, 
and right and get the kingdom of heaven while all these rich folks gonna be cast out. You know what I'm saying? And, and that day is coming when they're gonna see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom and find themselves thrown out. All wicked evil doers is not gonna get to enjoy this. Doing what you wanna do. Y'all tell people all the time, listen, if God loves sinners, he'd come down here and frolic with you right now. He'd come down and spark up a blunt. Father, he'd be in the strip club. <laughs> they think God is a sweetheart, right. a Edomite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's a killer. Buddy, buddy. Yeah, he's coming back with war. vengeance. Yeah, yeah. Lord, Lord is a man of war. Yeah, come on. He ain't coming back to play with nobody. This is it. It's do or die time. I was reading the word the other day and got scared. You know what I'm saying? Fear fell upon me. Because I'm like, I still got some stuff I'm working on. And if I don't get it right, I may not make it. You know, that's why the brothers always say we repent daily. Because thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Anything that popped in this man got to be cast down and learn to be obedient to Christ. Or else we won't make it.